start spreading the news. We're leaving today. I'm, I'm going home now. <laughs> Don't <laughs> leave. We haven't even started the trip. Hey, everybody. Good morning. It is me, Vincent, and Ellis, and we are here at MCO, Orlando International Airport. We're getting ready for our trip to... New York. New York City. <laughs> it is uh, pretty early in the morning, but we're going to be there for four days, and we are bringing you guys along with us. So grab your sweater because it's going to be cold, and welcome to the New York City edition of Vincent Vision. Watch out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, JetBlue Airways welcomes you to LaGuardia Airport. Where the local time is now 9.30 a.m. Hey, 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 everybody. Good morning. How are you doing? We are going on vacation, folks. Well, I guess technically I'm already on vacation, but hey, it's me, Vincent, and I am here. We just landed at LGA LaGuardia Airport here in New York, and we are getting ready for a four-day trip to the Big Apple. I am super, super excited. Ellison is in the bathroom getting changed into her winter gear because as soon as we landed, it is, uh, it's pretty darn cold. It's like 40 something degrees here in New York right now, but we are super, super excited to be here. We got four fun filled days. It's been six years since I've visited New York City. This used to be one of my favorite places to visit and this is actually Ellison's first time here. So we are going to indulge a little bit more on the touristy side because it has been a minute since I've been here and also I want to show Ellison the Big Apple. We've got a lot of fun stuff planned. We're going to do the usual stuff. We're going to go see a Broadway show. We're going to go try to get on one of the big observatories and the buildings. We got tickets for the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon today actually so we've got to get ready, check into our hotel and get ready for all that today. It's going to be fun and you guys are coming along with us. This is going to be a big old mega vlog. Oh my gosh, look at you. Hello. Ready for New York City. You look so hey, beautiful. You. Shall we begin? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. New York City is fast, fast, fast. But we're here. We made it to our stop. We gotta go up the street, carry our luggage, and our hotel should be right upstairs. We're here? The we stairs, made it. it was a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stairs, uh, we better get used to it, but hey. Check it out. New York City. Where's our hotel? Hey, that's The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Also, the Ed Sullivan Theater, where the Beatles performed way back when. That is so cool. Bar Hotel is actually right around the corner over there. Look at all these floors. Too many floors. We're in the middle. We're like in the middle, yeah. So we're like in the middle. Top floor is 32. 35. Oh wait, top floor is 35, sorry. We're yeah, that's not bad. We're gonna get a great New York City view. Oh, it's ready already. Ready oh, already. We're here. Thank you. I got it. Alright. What do you think? Not bad, not bad. Alright. Works for us. This is a pretty awesome view, 20th floor. This is our room here at the courtyard Marriott. Courtyard Marriott over here in the, what is the 1717 Broadway. Tight space, but we got a king bed for us. Very cool bathroom. Oh, we got a nice little walk-in shower over here. Pretty cool. This is gonna work. This is just what we need for our four day trip. I forgot how cool New York City is. It's, I mean, come on, come on, look at this. Look at this, I'm about to see Spider-Man swing by or something. What do you think of New York so far? Uh, I like it. Even though we've only been here for two hours, <laughs> so it's hard to say. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We haven't seen very much yet, but we are going to explore. We're gonna get some food first because we're very hungry and we've been up since four o'clock in the morning. And then we're gonna head towards 30 Rock for Jimmy Fallon. Oh. <laughs> why did you sound so sad? I don't know, I don't know why I said it like that. That's a big box. That's a big box. All right. Uh, just go for Here's it. Here's an attempt. Oh, is it good? Oh, go awesome. Our first meal here in New York City. Let's do this. Okay, we had to take a little detour. 
I wanted to go see the Nintendo store. <laughs> I mean, can you blame me? Really, it was super close to our hotel and it's like right by the Jimmy Fallon show. So we got some time. Wanna check out the Nintendo store? Look, it's got freaking Mario. My first one, I'm pretty sure. Oh gosh, I don't know. Well, it had, yeah, it had to have been Game Boy Color. That was my first one. And yeah, then nice. I also had the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, Game Boy yeah, Color. The, the pink. And then Game Boy Advance. What, the Nintendo 64? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I still have mine. Mine's on hold. Oh, really? yeah, yeah, you do. You still have that. And then uh, the Nintendo GameCube. I love the GameCube. This Game Boy damaged in the gold form. It still works. The screen, they got Tetris on there right now. That's pretty cool. I got to like plug to a power thing because that's how you got to keep it alive. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool though. Chat with Mario, say hi Mario. Hello Mario. Oh, yeah. I'm Mario. I love when you play my game. That's why I say, woohoo! I'm super duper happy to see you. Come for me, yeah. Thank you. What kind of games you like to play? Did you ever play Super Mario Odyssey? I, I have actually. I actually like it quite a bit. I really like it. I'm looking forward to Breath of the Wild too. So far, so good. We've done a little bit of exploring and all that kind of stuff, but now we're going to head to our first big event of the trip. We're going to head to our viewing of The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. we got tickets tonight. Saturday Night Live, Tonight Show, Late Night with Seth Meyers, all that. This is awesome. New York has a lot of really, really cool art in their building. We're gonna head in to 30 Rock. This is where the show is, and we got a few moments before we gotta get ready. Oh, I got stuck in a little thing with you. 30 Rock is so cool, and a lot of it feels like the Jimmy Fallon ride at Universal Studios, funny enough. I mean, obviously, right? Check in for the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. We got our tickets. We're ready to go. Let's head in. It's just right up that way. We actually got really lucky as we were planning this trip. We knew we wanted to see the Jimmy Fallon show and it just happened to fall on like a Friday that I was off from work that they were releasing the tickets for the month. So I just waited and using my Rise of the Resistance boarding group skills, I was able to get us a spot for the November 2nd show. And now we're here in line, which is a pretty long line, but it is very, very limited. And there is a standby line for the Jimmy Fallon show, but I mean, we're not gonna need that tonight. <laughs> so we're gonna go see the show. Um, there is no filming allowed when you are inside the Jimmy Fallon Theater, obviously, but we'll be sure to tell you how it is. The guests for the show that we're seeing are gonna be Kumail Nanjiani and Fred Armisen, so that'll be really, really fun, really cool, and hopefully maybe you'll see us in the background of the show, and uh, hopefully we see ourselves too. All right, cool, so far so good. So, like got Jimmy Fallon over here, and then late night Seth Meyers over there. How fun. We got a little fun tickets here. This is a fun little souvenir right there. Check that out. We are now currently in what they call the Peacock Lounge. We are waiting for the show to start. As soon as they call us in, no more vlogging. So we're going to go in, enjoy the show, and then uh, we'll see you at the end. But we're going to sit here, enjoy some time, and uh, we're going to get ready to be famous. Hopefully we get to be guests on the show. I'd like that. She doesn't want that, but I would like that. So we got in at three o'clock, it is seven o'clock now. We just wrapped up our taping of The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, and it was a really cool experience. It was, it it was incredible. It was really, really yeah. cool. It was very, I think the word for me was like, Fascinating. It was crazy to see how they put this show together. Like, it was not how I imagined it at all. It was very go, go, go. It was so yeah. cool to see all the different cameras, the way they, they performed little bits and pieces that probably aren't gonna end up on the show. I would say kind of like the most interesting is kind of like a little bit behind the scenes of like how everything's laid out on the show is not how why you like see it right yeah how that like actually happens they're filming it for tv so sometimes yeah. they're not filming things in order like how you see it in the show which was really fun to be yeah. on like the other end of it and see all the different cameras and also big thing that tonight show set is like a lot smaller than you think Tiny. it is in tv so that was really really cool and we had really fun guests it was a really fun show and check this out we were watching the band perform and they tapped us on the foot and we got quest loves <laughs> sticks and we got the sticks from the show and look it's literally like beat in from the show over here. So these are like the ones he actually used during that performance, during that show. So that is pretty cool. So I think we might try and watch it tonight, maybe see our shadows in the background or something. We had a, we had a spot near the band. So whenever they sweep by the band, you might see us somewhere over there, but we did have dark colors too. So, oh, oh well, yeah. but we had fun fine. and that was awesome. And that was a really, really cool experience. And if you can try to get tickets whenever you try to go to New York, like, I thought that was super, yeah. super cool. Even, even if you're like partly interested in Jimmy Fallon and like show business and TV shows and stuff like that, that was really, really cool. That was a really good like first little thing. And I'm glad we did it at the start of our trip too. But now it's about seven o'clock now, but 
we have been up since 4 a.m. So we are getting ready to call it an early night, but we're gonna take sort of the scenic route. Before we head back to the hotel, we're gonna head towards Times Square. I know it's a super touristy thing, but Ellis has never seen Times Square and I think she deserves to see it, gosh darn it. So we're gonna make our way over there and then call it a night for day one of our trip. It's so bright. <laughs> Ellison, should I go secretly film the creepy Elmo's and Iron Man's all the way over there? I'm filming them. Do you think they're going to see me? Oh. oh, they're coming here now. Look at that big red dog, Clifford. You know, I got to admit, I do find Times Square a little bit charming. I love these giant screens, but I do know what it means. Oh, never a dull moment in New York City. We have arrived in New York City. Day one, I'm not gonna fall, I'm not gonna fall. We're calling it early, we're calling it an early night at 8 p.m. We walked around Times Square for a little bit. We said, oh, this is pretty. And we walked back to the hotel, which is surprisingly close. We have a really great location. There's also a 99 cent pizza store downstairs. So we got a couple slices. We're gonna eat those and that's gonna be our dinner before we go to bed and get ready for day two. One dollar New York City pizza. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad for a dollar, I'll tell you that much. I'm on Invisalign, I can't eat. That's right. You're on vacation. I can't eat Invisalign. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm on vacation. Well, come on, you're on vacation. I'm not about to ruin a board. Get out of here. Day two. Peep the fit. Peep the fit. Day two. Give him the look. Bam. We get the black dress. I'm going to show mine's off. Does it look good? You see me? Oh, yeah. Got the coat. Red sweater, all birds, ready for day two. We're heading to the Museum of Natural History. We're gonna hang out in Central Park as well. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we get a little tray with your pear spaghetti. I'm gonna get that. Zoom in on that, because that looks so good. What do you want? Ham and cheese pastry, hash brown, oh, hash brown bread. I'm getting that. <laughs> hash brown bread looks good. Ham, hash brown, mozzarella, ketchup in it. I'm about that. You really, Julie, did not want to come here. I was a little upset. I was like, I don't want a Paris baguette, but this actually looks really good and savory. I'm a sweet, I'm, I'm a savory breakfast guy. I mean, savory is good, but sweet is also good. What else do you want? We made it to Central Park. The Museum of Natural History is down that way over there. Central Park is one of my favorite places to visit here in New York City. It's just so big and beautiful and it's quiet here in the middle of the city. There's so many fun little places to explore and find. We're doing the Museum of Natural History today and then we're gonna try and do the Met tomorrow. So we are going to have to come back here again, which I'm very excited for. Also, look how cool Ellison looks. It looks like such a cool chick. We're setting up for the New York City Marathon over here. They got quite a setup. What an amazing view. This is so nice. Taking this little path we found to get by the lake over here. That's what this is, an adventure. This is an adventure, folks. So we're gonna see where this pretty little path might lead here at Central Park. Hey, listen, come on up. The weather's great. Yeah, you're right, you're in a dress. I mean, you know, I gotta admit, this is a little better than a theme park at times. Definitely pretty peaceful considering we're in the middle of New York City. Eight million people live here and this is very nice and peaceful. I'm just waiting to see if Ellison finds her way over here. I think there's a path she can take down over here to get to the get to me. There she is. You got it? I mean, those boots gotta do something, right? Those dock marks, they can't be just for show. Look at us on top of the New York City world. I'm taller than you right now. You are taller than me right now, but that's okay. We're gonna live up there. We've decided this building here, it's very nice. All right, now we gotta head to the Museum of Natural History. Down the rocks we go. The Museum of Natural History. Most tickets right now in the city are uh, reserved timed entries. So you have to buy your tickets ahead of time. Or if you're here at the front of the museum, you can just use the QR code that they have got and get one pretty easy. Like it's 12.59, we just bought one online and now we're in line for the Museum of Natural History where we hope we get to see uh, the big talking Stonehenge and the Robin Williams Theodore Roosevelt and the dinosaur and maybe Ben Stiller as the security guard. Where are we now? Where, where's the entrance? We're on the second floor. Oh, we're second on the floor. second floor. You're standing right here. Okay, Beautiful. awesome. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. 
find out my weight on the moon. Hey, 31 pounds. Not bad, not oh, bad. Good. I've been losing weight. Let's see how much Ellison weighs on the moon. Go ahead. 17 pounds, <laughs> basically 18 pounds, 17.8. Oh, geez, Louise, look at you. Light as a feather. Skinny legend. <laughs> we know you come to life at night. You can tell us your secret. It's okay. You can trust us. Moai statue from Rapa Nui, Easter Island. Yeah, this is the Easter Island head. Uh, this is, maybe this is the one from the movie. <laughs> Dum Dum brought you gum gum. <laughs> Dinosaur bones can barely fit inside this room, it seems. Whoa, whoa. This is pretty massive. This is cool. Oh, very, very big. So I guess something might be wrong with the whale because it has a giant band-aid on it. That's really funny. And now, we're here, the exit. What'd you think? It was beautiful. Yeah, it was really, really cool. How was that Definitely. for your first New York Museum experience? It was really cool. Uh, that's all I can say. It was just really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a lot in there, but we were for there for like two hours and we pretty much saw all the things we wanted to see, at least the things we think we wanted yeah. to see. A lot to see and do, but we got a lot of things planned for our trip, so we're gonna keep on rocking. Getting off of 23rd Street, we're gonna go check out the Harry Potter store. We gotta do it. I'm sorry, we have to do it. It's a thing. Well, currently we're reading the books right now, so you know I'm not gonna yes. about it. Yeah, she's listening, Ellison's listening to the audiobooks. I uh, go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter a yeah. lot, so. Oh, actually, he's uh, never read the books, so. I did read the books. I read the first two. But you haven't read and then all I did, of them. And then I stopped. You but I like five, Harry Potter. I like the have, rides. I like the rides quite a bit. You have five more to go. Uh, I think the store's right here. <laughs> that was easy. Into the Harry Potter store we go. Look at the wands. Hello. Look at all this gear. Do you need a Ravenclaw scarf? These are different than the ones at Universal. Yeah, this is a little bit nicer, honestly. This is like a little more real. You know what I mean? We're on the street level right now. We got the butterbeer bar. I would like to get a butterbeer. Um, we saw the Hogwarts House of Toys. And then on the bottom floor, dark arts, jewelry, robes. House of Mina Lima. Ooh, I might want to check that out because I like their art for the movies. Take a peek. Huh? Bow truckles. Pickets. Hey, there's a little bow truckle in there. Oh, little guy's on Newt Scamander's shoulder. Something I didn't know about the store is they actually have authentic props from the movies. This is Ron Weasley's wand right over here. So looks from the Chamber of Secrets, 2002, a book I've read. Seriously love how well decorated this store is and all these fun little details. This is all super, super cool. I really love these little note cards here, They're five bucks. They're covers of the Daily Prophet over here in the House of Mina Lima section of the store. Very, very cool. They even have virtual reality experiences inside the store if you wanted to do your own little Harry Potter ride while you're in New York. This is something they do not have in Orlando. These Hogwarts house wands, all these different designs are, I guess, exclusive to the store because I have never seen these wands before, but they have them for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, all the houses. This is super, super cool. They're all, this, I actually really like this a lot. Look at this Hogwarts castle one. I want to see the bow truckle. The architecture. Oh my gosh, look at this Ukrainian. Oh, this is the Gringotts dragon over here as a wand. Is this Hufflepuff's bow truckle? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I love this Gryffindor wand. This is so cool. These are awesome. This Death Eater one here with the basilisk and the masks. The Ravenclaw wand. Let's see that black eye of the raven. Something we've been told to do when you come to the Harry Potter store is get their butterbeer. You want to try it out because it's supposed to be different than the one at Universal. So that is exactly what we're going to do before we get on out of here. Look, we got some butterbeer. I know, and I get to keep it. Yeah, I get to keep it. 13 bucks. All right. It's not that bad. Like it's a little different than the one at Universal, but there is like a slight difference. I think it's like a difference in the foam or whatever they use, but. I mean, it's good. I know we're supposed to have a really nice dinner in a little bit, but I might actually finish this. <laughs> Clean that butterbeer mug. Ooh. They should have this at Universal. All right, so the Harry Potter store was super cool, super worth it, but now it's time for an early dinner. We have got a reservation for two 
at Don Angie here in the Greenwich Village area of New York. It's supposed to be a really, really nice restaurant. It's got one Michelin star. That means it's pretty darn good. And we saw a video of it on TikTok and thought we wanted to eat here. So we got it. We got it for five. We're gonna go enjoy our food. This is gonna be one of those no vlogging things because we want to enjoy it. So we will see you at the end of dinner. But I will take a picture with the food and just like put that there as a placeholder so you can see us having fun. Finished on Angie's like 20 minutes ago. Uh, it was awesome. Like oh, it was such a so good, good meal. It was like super cheesy. That lasagna was I think the best lasagna I have had ever or in a very, very long time at the very least. But now we took the train. We're back here near Times Square. We're here on Broadway. We're gonna head towards our next big event. I got these tickets as a surprise for her a couple months ago. We're gonna see. Moulin Rouge, baby. Is it not, voulez-vous coucher avec toi, c'est ça? Why don't we ask them at the Moulin? It is, voulez-vous coucher avec moi, c'est ce soir. What did I say? I don't know. You say it. I can't. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. <laughs> Let's go get ready to see the show. Right. Checking in, everybody's checking in for the show. Let's get inside. This is our real cute. Ellison, say hi. There she is. That's our view for Moulin Rouge, which is pretty darn good, I think. And look at how beautiful this theater is. This is so cool. This is our view for the show. So, so cool. The show's gonna start pretty soon. So we'll see you at the end. Bye-bye. Wait, I just wanna say thank you for the surprise. Oh, <laughs> of course, of course. We'll see you guys later, bye. Woo! The show just ended! Oh my god, it was incredible. We loved it. It was awesome. It was so oh. totally worth it. That's it right there. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Was so, did you like it, sir? He loved it. He loved it. There you go. You see? So awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Let's send anybody out into the street over here. Oh man. <laughs> Look at it. Everyone just piles out into the street. But that was so worth it. Did you love that? It was incredible. That was awesome. Well, I think that's a pretty good point to wrap up day two, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, day two, done. We'll see you guys in day three. Bye bye. Bye, Moulin Rouge. All right, good morning, everybody. It is day three of our trip here in New York City. We're starting off with something that we both really, really wanted to see. We are here in the downtown, and we're here at the 9 11 Memorial near the World Trade Center and the new, well, I think it's, which one is it? I can't, I don't, I don't tell. We'll, we'll show you the new one later, but we really wanted to check out the 9-11 Memorial. This is so cool. We got off the train, we didn't realize it was like right, oh, right here. There. Yeah, it was crazy. We, we were, you know, we were both kids when uh, September 11th happened. So it is it's kind of crazy to be here and like see this. So we'll, just, we'll show you a little quick glimpse. We're not gonna do anything too crazy, but it is a really, really pretty memorial. And this is a really, Nice area, nice part of town. So we just got off here. This is the South Pool, where the South Tower was. And then the North Pool is down that way over there, I think. That's one World Trade Center, right there. It's so big, so cool. Really, really impressive. And then, this is the memorial here. There's the memorial over there, and then we walked into what they call the Oculus. It's a shopping center, shopping mall. It's a really big, very massive. This is crazy. I thought about doing the 9-11 museum, but the line was pretty long. So we're gonna keep on rocking and go see some other stuff. We wanna go visit the Met today, but we've gotta eat some food. We're gonna go somewhere that I really, really like. And I remember from a previous trip here in the city. We gotta go, the train is coming. <laughs> All right, there it is. Smack, Sarita's mac and cheese. Thank you, East 
village for 15 years of giving cheesy goodness. We've just been having a lot of cheese on this trip, haven't we? We sure have. It's hot, isn't it? Oh, are you okay? Here, drink, drink the soda. This is our mac and cheese bowl. I got a big old cheese burger mac bowl right over here. And then Allison got the buffalo chicken. I mean, apart from the heat, is it good? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Oh, there it is. So good. Wow. What a view. What do you think? Pretty. It is pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Pretty pretty pretty. Central Park is pretty. Who would have known? We're gonna head towards the Met from here. It's like out in that direction, but you know I gotta walk through my Central Park. But I mean, come on. Look at this awesome view, right? <laughs> I told you I got the skills. I got the squirrel skills, baby. But do they pay the bills? They do not pay the bills. They <laughs> left very quickly. It's from Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl. See the things she it's says. Back here, no. Oh, it's over there. Yeah. Oh. It's in the pier from like the first episode, first couple episodes. To the Met, the Metropolitan, the coolest museum here in New York, in my opinion. Oh, look at those. Look at that. That's pretty cool. We got our tickets. We were ready to go. The Met is my favorite because it is so big and it has so many different artworks from all around the world. Also, it's got Vincent van Gogh paintings, which I really, really want to show Ellison. Um, we are going to probably spend the entire time here. It's about 2.30 now. This place closes at 5. That is not enough time to see this museum, but we should be able to see all the things we really, really want to see while we're here. So let's go check out the Met. snack break because the Met is huge. Cheers. We're running out of time here, so we're trying to find the Van Gogh paintings. I think it's down this way. All right, Allison, we closed the Met out. We did, We actually, closed it. It's way past close. It's like 520. We have the last ones here. We did it. We saw like one-tenth of that museum, like not even less than that, I would Maybe. say. Yeah, yeah, Maybe. but it was awesome. It was so cool. We saw some of the most famous paintings in the world. And I, I think, I mean, for us, uh, two tourists, I think it's <laughs> definitely enough. So Met, super cool, super awesome. Definitely, if we come back here again, we should go back, right? Yeah. Yeah, we should totally should. Two weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks from now. <laughs> um, okay, well, we'll try to pencil it in. All right, we're back at the hotel. After we left the Met, we walked through Central Park a little bit, and now we came back here and took a little nap. And now it's the evening, we're just ordering some food. We're bringing it to the room because we are tired. We need some rest before day four. Day four is only a half day. We're gonna leave and head towards the airport. <laughs> I got my food, Chinese food, all these Sichuan. You know, the hardest thing about New York is the food. We, uh, there are so many places to get food. We don't know where to get. Ellison still hasn't ordered food for herself. Sometimes you just need to order some orange chicken and bring it to your hotel room. Stay inside and enjoy a nice, wonderful view. See you guys in the grand finale of day four. Good night. You're saying this is not Orlando? 
This is New York City. We've been in New York City for the past four days now, okay? We have, believe it or not, this is New York City. What about Miami? Miami, we've not been to Miami before. Day four. <laughs> day four. <laughs> Sorry. Day four. This is our final day here. This is kind of like a half day because we have got a flight in the middle of the day to head back over to Orlando. We just had breakfast at a place called Astro Diner. It was very cool, very authentic New York City experience. But now we're heading over to 30 Rock, which is down this way over here to head to the top of the rock. We're going to close out our time here in New York on a high note and see the whole city from a really great view. Top of the rock observation deck. We are gonna go all the way up there. Hope it's a nice view. Doesn't seem too busy right now either, which is good. Got our tickets. Now we're, I guess, taking the stairs all the way up to the top. Is that what's going on right now? Please don't tell me that's what's going on right now. This is the view? This is really, oh, this is pretty impressive. We're gonna see 13,000 taxis from here? You know, it did not occur to me that this iconic picture of men on the beam was actually here from when they were building 30 Rock. That's pretty darn awesome. This guy took the photo, which makes him easily one of the best vloggers ever. I mean, look at him standing on the freaking beam like that. All right, we're going up to the, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, this kind of gives me, this makes me a little nervous, like Tower of Terror. Oh, I don't like that. Why would you make that? Sorry, I just, I was looking up all the way. Holy crap. Welcome to the top of the rock. All right, we're here. Hi there. Awesome, thank you. That's crazy. Is Empire State Building right here? What's this building? So cool. This is a seriously an impressive view. This is pretty cool. Yeah, incredible. Pretty awesome view. I think I'm glad we did this on the last day of the trip because now we can look over the whole city and be like, we saw all this, we did all this. But that's the south side of Central Park and the northern part of the city. Well, I guess really the, the middle, midtown. Is our hotel, can we see our hotel from here? Is it, where was that 1740 building? And then this is not even the top floor. This is like the floor before. You can actually go up there and there's a whole other level where you can take pictures, which is what we are gonna do. Take the stairway to what looks like heaven. <laughs> We're going to the top, the upper decks over here. This is the highest point of the rock building. And of course, there's a gift shop all the way up here. That was a surprise, I was not expecting that. But I should have expected that. All right, that's the view right there, baby. Oh yeah! Top of the rock! Look at this view! Are you gonna throw my camera off? Yes. <laughs> Grand finale, huh? Oh my gosh, we're such a tourist. We didn't even know you can go up the steps. You can go one step further and there's no mirrors. That's where you want to take your selfies. Well, here we are at the top of the rock. New York City, we got the whole town, the whole world <laughs> below us. I think this is a perfect way to end our trip. It is how we are ending our trip. We've got to head to the airport from here, pick our bags up from the hotel and wrap this sucker up. But we did it. Four amazing days here in New York City. Hard to say anything but incredible. Yeah, this was yeah. honestly the best New York City trip I have ever had. And it was it was great. It was awesome. We saw so many cool things. I loved it. And I'm happy I got to do it with you. <sighs> now we gotta go back to stinky old Florida. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed our New York trip. Thank you for coming along with us. And uh, we'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye. <laughs> New York City.